Okay, hey guys, in this video I'm going to teach you how to build a go-kart. I'm not actually going to build a go-kart, sadly, but I'm going to tell you how. In six very, very easy steps. Like, I'm only 13 and I can do them. I made them. We're all right here. So, step number one is plan. Plan what your go-kart's going to look like. What is it going to look like? It's going to have a roll cage, going to have big tires, big suspension. Like, what is it going to have? Um, like, draw it, imagine it, like... You're sitting on the toilet and you think of something good then use that idea write it down draw what you think and as you're planning it you're going to want to think what am i going to use it for am i going to use it for road use or off or off road use if you're going to use it for road use which is mainly like racing and stuff then you're not going to want a suspension that's just going to weigh it down and it's going to go super slow and you just don't want to do that if you're going to use it for off road use then you're going to want to have like maybe nub your tires to get the gravel, dirt, and other things. And you're also going to want to have like maybe suspension, a bit of a bigger engine, and all that lovely stuff. Step number two, grab whatever parts you can. Build some parts, that's the phone, just don't mind it. You know, like I said, build some parts, ask around, use what you can basically. Like if you got, like, you're not going to want to go out and buy some brackets. No, no, no. You, you can make them really easily and probably better than what the store had. Like, better than the store, basically. You know, like, like you go to your local like machine shop, they could probably make you all the parts that you need. They, they could probably even make you like a frame. That's actually the next step. Step three, get, make, or get a frame, basically. You know, get steel, like basically, like, do you want it light, but like, you want it strong, but light, or do you want it, you know, just light? But if it's light, it's gonna, it's most likely gonna bend and break, and it's not good. Or do you just want it, you know, strong, doesn't really matter how heavy it is. Just if you get it stuck, then good luck trying to get it unstuck. Okay, step four, get an engine. If you're over like 100 pounds, I would, Highly recommend a 6.5 horsepower to a 10 horsepower. It'll be good. If you're under 100 pounds, so like if you're making this for like your kid or something, then under a 6.5 horsepower will be good too. Step number five: buy parts that you buy the parts that you don't have. So for example, let's just say I don't have an engine. Go to like BMI Carts and Supplies. I'll put a link in the description below if you want to go check it out. I highly recommend you go there. They got really good parts, but their axles aren't the best. Just gonna, you know, like, let's just say I don't have a clutch. Go to BMI Carts, get one. Don't have any wheels, axles, steering, any of that. Just buy all the parts that you don't have, basically. Step number six, probably the easiest step of them all. Put all your parts in the frame. So, yeah, and then you're done, basically. Now I'm going to tell you some prices that I came up with, and yeah, so, like, an engine usually goes for around 100 to $500, depends what you, what you want. Like, an, ax an axle goes from around 20 to $100. Wheels go to 50 to $300, because I know you, you can get some pretty good wheels out there, like, you can get, like, some ginormous paddle tires, you're going to go in the dunes, and... <laughs> Brackets, you know, if you didn't make any brackets, they're usually like 40 to, I don't know, oh no, I mean brakes, sorry. Brakes usually go for 40 to 150 bucks. Now you're probably thinking, well, I could just make my own brakes. Well, like, I, what I mean by brakes, I mean like, you know, not just like the brake cable and like, yeah, like in some really bad bike brake. No, I mean like, Brake disc, brake caliper, brake line, brake pedal, brake handle, whatever you're going to use, that's what I mean. So it's going to be like 40 to 150 bucks. Okay, now accessories, you don't have to add this, but accessories usually go from zero to a thousand dollars, depending what you're going to add. So total is going to, like to build a go-kart, if you don't buy any parts, nothing, you just, I mean, you don't make any parts, sorry. It's if you don't make any parts, it's gonna be around like five hundred to a thousand dollars. So that's basically it for this video. 
Hope you like it. And um, I hope to show you some more builds, like if you could see right back there. Um, me and my buddy, we took apart this quad. It has a blown engine in it. Yeah, and we're going to use all the parts off of it. So basically, so basically, yeah, we've, you know, that's step number, actually. It's step number two, actually. So step number two, gather whatever parts you can. And that's what we did. Got these parts. Now, our go kart's only going to be like a couple hundred bucks. And I will hope you like this video. And don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in an update or a romping video with our lawnmower or something. I'll just see you next time. Peace out.